Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get um SNES 9XGS um Super Nintendo um emulator channel for your Wii without wadding, without a wad for it. So, for for this to work, you are going to need the we uh -oh. um going to need the homebrew channel you are also going to need an SD card And on that SD card, you're going to need the Homebrew Browser app, or the Homebrew Channel. So, let's get started. As you can see, I, ha I have uh, made a space for um, SNES 9XGX. I have just now deleted it, that's why I still have these. Just to make that there. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put your SD card into your Wii. Now it has showed that I have the SD card. Now open up the Homebrew channel. <coughs> and once you open up the homebrew channel you go to your homebrew browser if you don't have the homebrew browser you can get that off uh, off of the webrew website I'm going to put the link for the web for the homebrew browser into um, into the description load up your homebrew browser wait for it to go on to there This is normal. It does not mean your Wii is bricked or anything. Now, uh, the homebrew shout that the homebrew browser is loaded up, and what you're gonna uh, what you're gonna have to do to get the the channel installer to install as a channel without wadding is go to the emulators section. And go down there's the original Nintendo emulator there's SNES on XGX, Visual Boy Advanced GX uh, we're trying to install this as the channel so keep on going down until you see SNES Nanix GX channel installer. Same for these two, but we're not, I'm not showing you how to do these two in this video. So you go to SNES Nanix GX channel installer. The same same thing as the name is in the description. And so you click on download, or you press A on download. Wait for it to. To, um, to stop downloading when it's done.
Okay. Now the now the um the channel installer is installed onto my SD card. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna press the home button on your um on your new remote. Then go and press return to loader. Then what you're gonna wanna do is look for the this is um the normal emulator, this is the channel installer. I'm gonna open up the channel installer. I'm gonna load that up. I'm gonna say please wait, it's gonna be loading. And it's gonna ask you channel installer. Do you want to install this channel? Um click install. And it says please wait installing channel. Channel successfully installed. So now press OK. And it'll return you to the Humber channel loader. And uh you're gonna wanna go to exit to system menu. And there it is. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. And you should test out if it works too. Well, let's go here. It's gonna load up like that. And then it shows all the ROMs you had. All the ROMs that you had on the original um, app installed on the Humber channel. And the good thing is, um, uh, since you since you have the SNES 9XGX for, app for the Humber channel, if that was it, you, you don't need that one though. There's an update available right now, but I'm going to update that later because I'm in the middle of a video. So yeah, it shows all the ROMs, and it's basically hooked up to the app on the Humber channel for the, for the SNES 9XGX. So if you do something on the app for the Humber channel, and then you try to do it again, but you go to the channel for it, it'll still have all the data. So I'm going to load up a, a random ROM, Super Mario All-Stars. And it works. So, hope you guys like this video. Um, yeah, when you pause it, it looks like this. So, I hope you guys like this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. It would really help with my channel if you liked and subscribed. Uh, there's probably going to be more, there are going to be more homebrew channel tutorials uh, on my channel. So, this is the first one. So, please don't blame me if. I did it bad or anything. So yeah. Thanks guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Daniel Brown Games. I'm signing off.